little or a few pregnancy symptoms some have like the whole shebang welcome welcome again everyone to my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing and for you who haven't subscribed what are you waiting for wasting time in the subscription is free subscribe <laughs> so it's really great to have you here so today i'm going to be talking about pregnancy symptoms um, and the ones i found quite challenging challenging um as you know some people experience and women experience little or a few pregnancy symptoms some have like the whole shebang i think i was the glass of the last one because <laughs> guys I mean, it was oof, interesting right so come on let's go what's the first thing first thing I really struggled with was nausea. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description or somewhere here um, to my hyperlysis uh, gravidarium um, or gravidium um, experience. So I had a lot of nausea, the vomiting, you know, also came with it. It was not great. You know, that constant feeling of being nauseous all the time. But then, you know, you kind of understand, yes, your body's, there's lots of changes going in your body, you know, so, um, have to just deal with it and say okay it's part of the journey you want to be i'm going to have to be nauseous yeah it's just part of it so the second thing is the vomiting i really found that quite challenging because i mean in my younger years i have had um, illnesses and sicknesses of times when you have to vomit a, a lot you know but this time around it was like you know you get all those gut-wrenching vomits or vomiting you know but this time around it was so bad because it was compiled with other things that were really hard to bear with the nausea and everything so i would like throw up for at least i'll say 20 to 30 times or even more a day and you know when you get to the point where it's like the green bile in your stomach that's all that's coming you, you practically have nothing left to throw and your body's retching you know it got to a point where i started bleeding yeah that was that was how bad you know it got and um thankfully you know doctors are there to be able to give advice and you know what medications to take and what to do to kind of subdue all that so that was fantastic now the third thing is strong smells i really struggled with you know strong smells when you get pregnant obviously your whole hormonal system has changed there are lots of um um, things that you begin to perceive that you never did before your smell goes to like more than 100 like sometimes i think of like <laughs> it, it, i know they say dog smells um sense of smell is super strong i am I, i'm not comparing us please don't get me wrong <laughs> you know but your sense of smell is so strong you know and every little little thing around you you perceive you know every small thing is just like you know super super duper strong and so what i did was i used to use masks sometimes i would put a little bit of perfume like something that i liked i remember one nurse actually giving me a bit of perfume to smell and she said that really helped her so you know yeah you might say you don't like strong smells but there's certain things that kind of helps to deal with you know a lot of you know all the things that you're perceiving everywhere you know there and just just making sure your house wherever you are is well aerated so that you know all those multi multi dotty smells go away <laughs> so the next thing is hunger pants hey in my third trimester yeah my goodness i was hungry i would wake up see when you're hungry to the point of tears you're crying and crying that I'm so hungry. I want to eat. <laughs> like to that point, you know, I was so hungry. I would tell my husband in the middle of the night, he has to get up and prepare something for me. Mine was not even that bad where you have to go. You know, some people say they want to eat pizza right now. It's olives they want. You have to go and look for somewhere. Mine was not even like it was just hunger. I was not really craving it past. I was just maybe because the baby was growing so fast, you know, my son was growing so fast. So at that time, my body just needed a lot of nutrition and so many other things are going on in your body. You know, and I really wish that during 
that period, I was like, I wish I ate more salads because that was where the weight gains that you're kind of like happy through your journey. You're like, okay, so far I have not really put on so much um, weight and I'm looking okay. But then third trimester comes and messes you up. I mean, not, not that you should be bothered about those things, but you know what I mean. You're like, this is not going to spoil my snapback game, all those things. <laughs> you know, so, but yeah, those hunger pangs. Now the next thing was like, hmm, there was a weird ticklish kind of pain I had in my hip. Eh? I did not understand where it was coming from. So I remember talking to my um, the maternity um, 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 the lady that was in charge of my maternity. She was telling me that oh, it's possible that the baby is pressing on a nerve somewhere in the body, and then it is now causing this kind of you know ticklish sort of feel. Like it. it was so frustrating. I and, and it's always happened at night, so I would have to like kind of hit my hip, you know, while I was at night because that was when it always happened. And I guess my son used to always lie at interesting positions, put his leg here, put his hand here. <laughs> So it just felt all those ticklish kind of you know feelings. So all I did was just to kind of I I, I couldn't find any other solution solutions than just massaging it. I think that's what really helps. A very good massage, just to kind of you know, and then maybe you poke baby a little bit, like to softly you know touch them to kind of get them to move to another spot, and it might relieve it. So the next thing was. Should I call it sleepfulness? Yes, maybe sleepfulness <laughs> or lots of sleep. It was that is for me that was not challenging because when people are telling you I'm asleep now, by the time baby comes, so mm, you will not have time to sleep. Do you know eh, that was the best test, best, 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 whatever you want to call it, the best advice you can get when you're pregnant. Sleep oh. <laughs> sleep don't stay awake i'm trying to i want to do sprinkling i want to arrange my own before <clears throat> don't do that don't do it you're wasting your time because when baby comes you are not going to know the meaning of sleep you will not understand it you will look in your, your dictionary you will look for sleep you will not see it you be like oh my god everybody's dictionary there's sleep inside you will not understand the meaning, trust me. Like me and my husband I could not believe like for the first three weeks we were just like, eh? <laughs> how are we surviving? <laughs> so sleep, like enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoyed myself and I slept like a baby. Anytime just sleep came, lie down and sleep. Sleep solid, enjoy it, smooth, play nice music, whatever you want to do, just lie down and rest. Mm, so cute drench yourself inside <laughs> god knows why he allows all those things you know because you if you'll be so angry at yourself when you look back and realize that you not allow yourself to enjoy those wonderful naps yes <laughs> now the next thing is, is tiredness like obviously you get so easily exhausted you know and it's just the normal you know um, because your body is doing a lot aside from you know managing the energy that you're using for daily activities and stuff you're growing a baby so it's natural for you to be exhausted and natural for you to want to need more sleep aside from the many hormones that are there you know so just sleep you know rest you know, relax get somebody to massage your your feet you know put them up whatever you need to do you know and um, to just um you know relax you know. now the next one is swollen feet i i didn't have too much of this i know a lot of pregnant women do have this but i experienced it just a little bit when i traveled at some time and so all i needed to do was just to put my feet up you know it was not so bad you know um for for me you know so um yeah just make sure you get someone to massage your feet and put them up it's very important put them up now the next one is heartburn mm that thing was not nice heartburn in the third trimester that's when i suffered it a lot so i would eat and just my whole stomach with the acid everything was just not working for me and the worst part of it was that i tried antacid 
or um, you know whatever or was it a, it was called Pepsi Pepsi something I tried that one and it would make me vomit you know it was so bad it would just make me throw up so I think eventually what I was even doing was apple cider vinegar I'll just put a little bit of that in water and drink and it would calm that you know whole acidity in my stomach and even now it's fantastic when I tell you that apple cider vinegar is better than your typical or your best antacid in the market it's not a joke unless maybe you have not tried you know all of them but I, I can tell you that really works so well I had this very weird taste in my mouth the metallic kind of taste you know so but that was kind of like the first trimester you know sort of thing so I just kind of dealt with it and just you know got used to it um, but then later on obviously there's your mouth just the taste in your mouth is never the same I think it's just to do with if you're experiencing lots of nausea and lots of vomiting and all that the way your palate is is so off and totally different because it's either you're throwing up all the time and you know and just the way your whole saliva everything has changed so your mouth is just going to be tasting really weird you know and and you know funny i had a lot of salivation during my pregnancy um and um, i think it's called tantalisia or something I'll, I'll write the name just to, uh, so that i get it correctly you know um and i was i had to carry a container to be spitting a lot so that really affected my whole taste buds and you know and everything <laughs> Then this one, I wouldn't say yes. I would call it kind of a pregnancy thing, but obviously it's towards when you're about to give birth and all that. Branston cakes, you know. I would, I would, I might not say it's a symptom of pregnancy as, as such because it's towards the end of pregnancy, but it's not the real form of labor. But when it started, it's just weird the tightening of the belly, you know. So I would have those, and it would just get really tight. And your 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 whole muscles in your your stomach it was just a very weird feeling and it was just you know uncomfortable, um, but it's part of you know the process of you know eventually you know giving birth and all that. So so guys, that's it really. Um, I hope that I've been able to shed shed some lights on things that you know pregnancy symptoms and things that you can do. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think, um, any ideas, any suggestions that would help others, you know, um, other mothers out there. Um, so, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Please subscribe, 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 comment, like, share. Um, I am aiming for 1000 subscribers. Come on people. Yeah, so okay, till next time. Bye.